Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you got yourself a brand new monitor or even a new setup. Hooray! Except it's pretty universal whether it's a cheap monitor or an expensive monitor. On-screen controls absolutely suck. Controlling brightness and volume is absolutely terrible, but not anymore. In today's how-to video, I'm gonna show you how to control both the brightness and the volume on Mac and PC. So what we got here is actually a really good variety of monitors. We got an expensive monitor here with the LG 27 UKA50 monitor. It's USB-C, it's 4K IPS panel, but we also got a really cheap Acer monitor here. This retails for barely $100. I actually got it for $50. And the good news is you can actually control the brightness and sound levels on both digital and analog inputs. This is connected to my MacBook Pro with VGA to USB-C. Now with VGA, you cannot output the sound itself, but you can control the brightness and sound levels. Obviously, if you want to use sound, you're gonna to have to hook up the HDMI connector to the MacBook Pro. If you're a Mac user, there's an app called Monitor Control and it does exactly what it says on the tin. You can download it from GitHub, link in the description below, and you just install the latest version and it works out of the box. You can use the same shortcut keys on your Mac to control the brightness and sound levels. The only caveat I have is that I have the MacBook Pro with touch bar and cannot use the touch bar brightness and sound to control the external monitors, brightness and sound obviously. You're gonna have to use the slider in the menu bar, but if you have a regular wireless Apple keyboard or any brand keyboard, uh, you can obviously control the brightness and sound with those regular shortcut keys. Are you a PC user? No problem. On Windows 10, Monitorian is exactly what you're looking for. You can download it from the Windows Store for free and it works out of the box and it's quite like monitor control. You have sliders which allow you to control the brightness of any of your monitors. This doesn't do sound, however, but for Windows 10, that's not really an issue because Windows controls its own volume independently of your speaker system. It's not really like Mac OS X where the volume is directly controlled by your speakers. So this wasn't an issue for me. It's worth pointing out that while well, you have both a cheap monitor and an expensive monitor, they're both relatively new. If you have a very old monitor, this may not work because the monitor itself requires a technology called DCC and older monitors may not have that, so your mileage may vary. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified for future technology videos and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Also, leave a comment below if this worked out for you and what do you think of my new setup? I really like it, it's great for video editing. I have a short film in post-production. I'm currently color grading it. So I got my media browser here, I got my viewer, I got my timeline, and then I have my color board and all my other color grading tools here. So this is working out fantastic for me to say the least. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.